Every once in a while, you may have some content in your video that's not suitable for all audiences. Today, we're going to learn to apply the sensor effect in Final Cut Pro to make sure our viewers don't see anything they're not supposed to. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Final Cut Pro Shorts, a quick 1-2 to two minute video highlighting Final Cut Pro tips and tricks, simple effects and other features. Down in our timeline, we have a clip that obviously needs a little censoring. Let's skim over a clip and place a playhead right when you want the sensor effect to start. Now use the back arrow to back up a couple frames. Open the effects browser and from the stylized category, select the sensor effect and drag and drop it over your clip. Now, by default, when you apply an effect in Final Cut Pro, it's applied to the entire clip. In cases like mine, when you want the effect to start halfway through a clip, you have to keyframe it. First, let's position the sensor effect in the viewer by clicking and dragging the center button. Next, in the inspector, select the sensor method and adjust the size of the censored area with the adjustment sliders. Now, with the playhead a few frames before you want the effect to start, bring the amount slider down to zero and set a keyframe by clicking the keyframe button beside it. Also, if you want to add any movement to your censored area, add keyframes beside radius, center, and aspect ratio sliders. Move the playhead to where you want your censored area to start and bring the amount slider back up. Next, skim through your clip and manually track your censored area by adjusting the position and size of it. For clips like mine, when you need to censor more than one area in your clip, you can add the sensor effect as many times as you need, following the same method. And there you have it, a very simple way to sensor and track any area in your clip. If you found this video helpful, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos release all the time, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.